What's up everybody? It is late July and guess what? It's float day. Yep, that's right. Most of uh, most of the state is dry. Most of the rivers are low. But uh, we found some water. We are at the Little Red River today. Um, just below the dam at Greer's Ferry Lake. And uh, nice cold water. And it's not deep, but uh, it's runnable. So we're going to run it. We're going to do today, we're doing... Barnett Park here where you can see Sugarloaf Mountain there in the background there off the bypass close to Heber Springs We're doing Barnett Park to Lobo Landing. It's about a seven mile float and uh, I want to explain something because I was confused about this uh, When we we're coming up here. I thought that we needed to wait until they release water from the dam And that's actually not the case. This is floatable right now um, and we've got a local here um, my new friend Darren that says that it's actually better to float before they release because once they release uh, it gets high and there's no place to pull over um, and I like to pull over so so we're gonna get out here and float this and I'm sure at some point in the day that flow is gonna kick in and catch up with us but uh, we're gonna get it going and uh, I mean yay we found water so let's get it we'll see you out there all right here we are good look at Barnett Park there good look up river a lot of folks fishing. Calm water right now. It's going to pick up as we get downstream. Today, got my good buddy Eric Miller floating with me. If you've seen any of my videos or any of our blog posts, especially the floating ones, you've probably seen Eric on uh, our Cadron float. On our Kings River float and then we also have Eric's friend my new friend Darren he's up there in the orange kayak and uh, man this water is so cold but it's perfect because it's gonna be like hundred and fifty eight million degrees a day so the colder the better How's it going? Good, how are you? Doing good. Catching any yet? No? <laughs> All right. Now I'm starting to see some flow here. Yeah. <laughs> says, get my boat. Yeah, we got some movement now. That's what I'm talking about. And we may be a little low. Yep, Darren's stuck. I might get stuck, who knows. But you know what? We're on cold moving water, I'm happy. Geese like it. A lot of geese. Wonder what they're talking about. Probably cussing us. I think that's what they're doing. Talking smack. It's a little thin over there where Eric's going. I'm headed right at this goose. Watch out, goose. See that V right there? That's what I'm shooting for. I don't know if I'm going to make it. No. No, I'm going to make it. Yeah, I made it. Yeah. That's weird. It's covered with moss, like carpet. There we go. Yep. I need to be over there. I 
There we go. deeper water the water's so cold that you can feel the air coming off of it nice and cool what's that scuppers underneath <laughs> yeah splashing that cold water up on you yeah i'll take it like you can feel the air off the off the water uh -huh. it's, nice. it's fogging up my glasses that's your sweat yeah probably oh, This is like, dude, it's crazy. this water temperature, yeah. it's making it bearable. And what, it's only, what, 1030? <laughs> and it's already hot. Man, it feels good out here, though. Oh, dude. That's either a beaver or an otter. Fish on. The little one. How y'all doing? Great, how are y'all? Good, sorry. <laughs> y'all having any luck today? Oh yeah. Good. Crazy flow, but uh, there is flow. It's moving a little bit. Pretty nice. Still nice and cool. Outside of the Spring River or the 11 point, I don't know where else you can go and get this today. I'm happy. Some nice houses on this river, too. Look at that. Pulling up on a little swim hole here. We're all gonna get out, secure these boats, and take a dip. Whoop. That's what we got up here? Yeah, a nice little swimming hole up in here. Let me show you. Check it out. Oh man, I just felt the temperature drop like five degrees. 
this is awesome. Oh man, that water's cold. Whoo! So, for anybody out like, you know, Washita area, if you've ever jumped in the Lake Hamilton down at the Coldwater Bridge, that's the kind of temps we're looking at here. And I'm that deep in it. About to be up to my neck in it. So yeah, a little swimming hole here. We're gonna take a break. We'll see you back on the river. And on we go. Man, look at this place. The best route is through the duck trees. So <laughs> is it? Is it? Big rock. That one will get you. Nice fishing rock up here. <clears throat> Probably ain't catching anything, but it's a good rock. I don't really like fishing. I'm more of a fan of catching. <laughs> yeah, I don't like to fish. I like to catch. There's something getting after. Oh, he's got a fish on. He's doing through fishing. There he goes. Well, it's still fun to catch. This is one less you have to clean. One less, or few let, fewer less bites of shitty taste. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of seeds do we got? You're gonna need it. Yeah. Yeah, Ooh, man, I'm gonna tell you, this water is cold. I mean, the whole thing is like swimming at the cold water dam at Hamilton. If you haven't ever been down there, well, man, it's cold. About, I don't know, 55, 58, 60 degrees, something like that. It's really cold, but all along here, there's all kinds of little swimming areas. This one drops off fast. You can see these out there already waist deep right there. But uh, man, I tell you, today's July 22nd or 23rd. I'm not sure, but late July. You know, they're calling for 102 degree temperatures. Now I'm gonna tell you, there's I can't think of a better place. I'd rather be right now than out here on the Little Red because this whole thing, you just roll down the river and the water, the, the, the wind just blows the, the temperature up on you and it's awesome. It, does, it feels like it's 85 out here right now. So, having a great time. I will definitely be coming back here. All right, y'all, we're back. And we are on what I think is our last leg here of this float. And uh, 
Water slowed down a little bit, gotten a little bit slow. A little flat, but it's still ice cold. I just got out of it. Man, look at these guys, man, they're just chilling. Um, man, it's been a good day. I'm just trying to think about what's floatable today, where could I go, man. Honestly, I don't think we could beat this. Not today. Not July 22nd. Yes. I mean, look, there's some nice places up here, man. Got boat docks everywhere, so it's a little bit, you know, not as natural as uh, some places, you know, Buffalo and places where you don't see any kind of like man-made stuff. You know, you see a little bit on the mulberries. Some people have got some houses and you see that on the Caddo, you know, so that's cool. I don't mind it. I mean, I think it's kind of cool. It's like nice places, but this water, it's so clear, it's so cold. It's like, man, dude, got it made. Can't feel it on the video, but there's a breeze blowing and it's blowing right across top of that cold water cooling us off yeah I'll be back saving this for my late summer list I mean we're paddling but we ain't have to paddle hard you know this is nice man I'm loving this well guys I'm not gonna blow sunshine up your ass on this float it is awesome for this time of year, but you know, I like to keep it real. The end of it, you're gonna paddle a little bit. You don't have to paddle hard. I mean, I'm just kind of paddling, and it's getting us there, but you'll have to paddle a little bit. So, I feel like I gotta throw that in there because I don't want anybody coming back later saying, Man, Scott, what, what the hell, man? <laughs> You sent us on a paddle. Yeah, yeah, I did. Paddle a little bit, but it's not that far. Maybe a mile, mile or two. Mm, got some kind of flat water. It's 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 a little current, but it's, yeah, you gotta kind of paddle through this. Just being honest. But, would I do it again? Yes. Especially this time of year. I'd absolutely do it again. Totally worth it. I think probably from here on out, probably just see you at the end. All right, so here we are at Lobo Landing. We are done. We've taken out. We've sent some folks up to uh, go get vehicles to pick up our gear and uh, Man, what a great day. Uh, started at about 10.30, finished at about 4 o'clock. That's five and a half hours, around between six and seven miles. Could have done it a lot faster if you really wanted to. We took our time, we stopped, made some long stops to cool off. But man, this time of year, yeah, dude, you can't beat this float, man. This is, The water's cold, the air coming off of it's cold, and there's the biggest thing is there's water uh, had to paddle for about the last mile maybe two but it's fine though I mean dude, we had a great flow today so like I said at the beginning you don't have to wait for the dam to release water to do this float I was one that always thought that you did I think a lot of people think that you don't have to you can you can wait until they release water and you're gonna have more water deeper water faster it's gonna be you know you're gonna be going the whole time it's going to be a faster float, it's not going to take you as long, but the thing is, you don't have to wait for that. You can you can go um, way before they release water and still have a great float, and that's what we did today. So, um, so there you go. Little Red River um, from Barnett's to Lobo Landing, about seven miles, about five and a half hours. And uh, if you're looking for some place to paddle during the worst part, driest part of summer, give this a look. I'm going to have um, all of the uh, 
coordinates, the put in, take out, all the details in the blog post. So check that out. Also, if you don't mind, go ahead and hit subscribe on there. Give this a like and a subscribe. And, uh, you know, follow us. You'll get to see more videos like this for when you're looking for places in Arkansas to paddle. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So, great day here on the Little Red. Barnett's Lobo Landing. Thanks for watching.